I have a question for you. What makes an equation a quadratic equation? Well, that would all depend on this term right here. You have something that's squared that is a quadratic term. So when you have a variable raised to the second power, you have a quadratic equation. There are several ways to solve them. So far, we have only learned one. That is solved by factoring. So step one is to set your equation equal to zero. Step two is to factor. Then step three, you are going to set each factor equal to zero. And the final step is to solve each one of those equations. All right, here's our first example. <clears throat> step one is to set it equal to zero, which it already is. So step two is to factor, and that's a difference of two squares. Step three is to set each factor, so that's each of these in the parentheses, you are going to set equal to zero. And then your final step is to solve each one of those equations, and you get answers of negative five and five. All right, our next one. Step one is to set it equal to zero, and it's already set equal to zero. So step two is to factor it. And when you factor, what is the first thing you do? You factor out the GCF. So we take out a 3x, and that's what we have left. Then after you factored it, step three, set each factor equal to zero. So that 3x in front could be zero, or what's in the parentheses could be zero. And then you solve each. We are going to divide this equation here by three. Zero divided by three is zero. And for the second equation, you are going to subtract four, so you get negative four. All right, let's take a look at another one. <clears throat> First step, we have to set this equal to zero. Right now, it's set equal to two. So we're going to have to subtract 2 from both sides, giving us this new equation. And then we are going to have to factor that. So in this video, I'm not going to go over how to factor. That's last unit. If you're still having trouble with factoring, then you should come for some extra help. So we are going to factor this equation, and we get 2x plus 1 times x plus 4. Next step set each one of those sets of parentheses equal to zero. These are your two equations. And the final step is to solve each of those equations. So those are your two answers. All right, one final equation. Step one is to set it equal to zero. So we are going to have to subtract 4x. This guy here, this 4x, is going to have to move to the left. And same thing with that 7. So this would be our new equation. Everything moves to the left. We are now equal to 0. Next, we're going to factor. There is no leading coefficient. So this is an easier one to factor. We are looking for factors of 7 that subtract to give you 6. That would be 7 and 1. So it's x minus 7, x plus 1. Then you take each of those factors and you set them equal to 0. And there are your two equations. And the last step to solve both of those equations. So we get 7 and negative 1.